it's Jana and welcome to another installment of Stay Inspired. So today we're doing something really cool because I'm gonna give you three tips on how to make your iPhone pictures better. So the first tip is to use your grid. And um, what this is, is the lines that run vertically and horizontally. And if you don't know how to turn that off and on, you just go to settings, go to photos, and then you'll find it down here in grid. You can turn it off or on there. So the second thing I wanna show you is, um, is how cool this is, that you can actually focus and then recompose. So you focus, one, two, three, and then I can recompose my shot. Hi, Bugsy. Is Bugsy gonna look at us? And it's gonna stay at 2015, right? So then I can be, like, I can have more creative photos if I do, if I can, you know, I can recompose my shot and have more creative photos. So the third thing I wanna show you which I think is, for me, the most fun part, is that using different um, lay, things to lay your photos on is really fun. So for instance, I got this piece of marble from Home Depot for like less than $2. And it's such a different photo when you are like, you know, choose to lay things on this like furry thing I got from Target or this thing from Home Depot. So for instance, I'm just gonna take time to kind of set up a shot for you, something that I would do on marble. Bugsy, excuse us, just for a second, just for a minute. So I always wanna make sure like it's super clean. And something that I would do on marble, like maybe I would take this flower. I think it's super important. I mean, this is an art form, you know, for us today. So it's cool to take your time. Sometimes my family thinks I'm totally nuts, but I really take time. Like right now, I'm just kind of doing this <laughs> on the fly, but it's really cute. So then I like, ooh, that's pretty so far. But I'm even gonna add like maybe another layer to it. That's pretty. But I want something else. Maybe. So nice. I actually am going to focus on this one, two, three, and then recompose. So pretty. Show you something I would do on this that's going to make a completely different photo weren't in the exact same spot. So something I would do here, I love gold. Anything gold totally gets my attention. I love it so much. And here you see. Totally different photo, totally different feeling, because I've just taken time and used a different backdrop. And like I was saying before, totally take your time. This is an art form. Like it's so much fun to celebrate your life through iPhone pictures. I love it, I think it's so fun. Great. So just to recap, the three tips that are gonna help you take better iPhone pictures are to use your grid so that they're straight and you can Im implement the rule of thirds, which is gonna make your photo more interesting. And then the focusing, so then you can focus and then recompose. Um, and the last tip, which I think is the most fun, is to use different backgrounds, right? Like I was saying before, get the marble from Home Depot. There's all different types of marble and colors that you can get. Um, anything with fur, textures, rugs, all that kind of stuff, just kind of like look around your house or when you're walking around um, the streets of where you live, looking for different textures to, to make a cool story for your iPhone pics. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how I edit these pictures in ViscoCam. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Check me out at jennaframalabama.com. Uh, connect with me on Facebook, Jenna Williams Photo on Instagram. Let's chat on Twitter. And as always, stay inspired. Bye.